standing by. Ready to jam enemy radar. Yeah, well, apparently that spy plane didn't help me too much. What is up, guys? My name is X-Dragon, and I am here bringing you the first episode of Random Warfare here to PGN. And before I get to the actual commentary, I will explain what Random Warfare is. And, yeah, let's get into it. So, Random Warfare is a series I decided to create it on my own channel, pretty much because I like challenges. I wanted to use random guns in random games and see what I could do with it and I decided, you know what, let's make it to a series. But usually I would be like asking people in lobbies, say, hey, you, pick a class, you go ahead and make me a class and I'll use it. But it obviously got thrown out the window as I found random class generators and those became my main sources of these classes. So today we are using the Enfield with no attachments and the ASP with no attachment using, of course, Flak Jacket, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. And to start with this class, the Enfield is a great weapon. It's a great overlooked weapon. It has very low actual recoil. It might have a little bit more visual recoil for, mo for most people. Uh, I find that a silencer would definitely cancel that out. But it's a really good weapon. It's it's just really overlooked. Uh, most people using the AUG and the FAMAS and the Galil and stuff like that. It's, I don't know, it's just, it's passed over so many times. I mean, when I used this gun, when I first started using this class, I was actually pretty surprised at how well the Enfield was doing against these other weapons, seeing that it had minimal type of recoil. Next up, we have the ASP. It's the very weakest of all pistols in this game uh, but it's very fast firing I can say that right now uh, seven clip seven bullet clip not really the largest but not really that much of a problem uh, its reload time is extremely fast especially paired with sleight of hand it's a great pistol again it's overlooked a lot because there's the CZ 75 with its full auto upgrade and the I almost said the 44 magnum and the python the python that thing will destroy people but of course i'm not talking about the python i'm supposed to be talking about the asp it's a great pistol it's overlooked people should use it you should people should use it and yeah so getting on with the class we have a claymore as our equipment and i'm not too fond of claymores uh, i'm using I'm used to using C4 and every now and then a motion sensor. Uh, claymores, to me, they just signify a camper. And I don't know, I just don't like it. I, I play more defensive when I have a claymore. Because it means that I don't have any extra tool with me to help. Like a motion sensor would definitely make me a bit more rushy. And I don't know, most people will probably camp with their motion sensors anyway. Next up we have the, what do we have, we have Semtex and Decoys. Semtex, definitely my favorite type of grenade in the Call of Duty series. In Modern Warfare 2, in Black Ops, in Modern Warfare 3, I love the Semtex, love, love, love it. I love that it sticks to walls, I love that it sticks to people, I love that it sticks to anything I throw it at. It's definitely my personal favorite grenade. So, uh, you can see my bias there. Of course, you know, the frag grenade is a great idea because it's more strategic, you can go ahead and time it, stuff like that. But again, I'm very biased, so I'm going to say, go Semtex! Uh, next up we have the decoy, and I find these sort of useless and more of a give away my own position type deal. It just seems that their main priority is to annoy the person using them, and not the people he's trying to distract. So... I kind of find these counteractive 
I'm more of a person who likes to use stun grenades and flashbangs. Stuns more primarily because they throw faster. Of course in Modern Warfare 3, that doesn't happen, but still, you know, when I'm not playing Modern Warfare 3, stuns all the way. Again, I'm very biased here, but that's because I've been playing this game for a few years and I've just grown attached to them. So, if I were to give any suggestions to this class, to like to tweak it and fix it, and maybe exploit some, I don't know, sort of areas where it would do even better, uh, I would definitely use Warlord with this class. Warlord because I would use Red Dot and a dual mag attachment on the end field. Red Dot would be in case people can't stand the iron sights. I find them necessarily, I, I find them good. I find them easy to use. Uh, if anything, use a silencer. That way you won't have to worry about the annoying muzzle flash. And dual mags would be because, I don't know, if I'm going to use Warlord, I better have some extra mags. Because I want to run around. So, this blue perk I guess I would use would be lightweight, but again, why am I so biased? Uh, maybe Scavenger would be better on this class, and maybe we can get rid of, you know, Warlord and that dual mag attachment on. Maybe then we can use a red dot and a silencer. And last but not least, we have Ninja. And Ninja, I didn't find myself using too much in Black Ops. I found myself using Marathon quite often as it gave me a limited sprint and I am just that person who likes to run around. If you guys were to see my channel you would see me running around quite a bit. But that's all I really have to say about my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is the first episode of Random Warfare. I hope you guys will tune in for every one of these. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Share this video with anybody share it with uncle bob down the street share it on your facebook share it on your twitter share it on your google plus if you have one but anyway guys that's all i have to say on this class i hope you all enjoyed again make sure to like comment and subscribe to pgn and i'm out peace